Hey friends, good morning, it's Leilani. So today is Saturday morning and it's incredibly bright outside. But I thought I'd go ahead and take you guys along for a weekend in Italy with me. My boyfriend and I are planning to get some lunch and do a little shopping. I actually need to get some souvenirs for my family because this is my last weekend in Italy. I know that probably seems so sudden. I will definitely try to get into it more maybe later in this video or the next one when I'm back home. But the condensed version is basically Basically, my three months here are up so I had to decide if I wanted to extend and get a visa that would allow me to stay here longer or go home it's a really long story I'll get into it another time but in the meantime I just want to enjoy a nice weekend and bring you guys along let's head out weekend in Italy, I requested to eat here at my favorite pizzeria. They were established in 1870 and make the best authentic Neapolitan style pizza I've ever had. I always order their spicy margarita because the pizza comes on fire. So not only is it a bit of a spectacle, but I've never tasted a more flavorful pizza sauce. As I'm editing this, my mouth is watering. I miss it so much. But I found out they do happen to have a few restaurant locations in the US, mostly in California and New York. So if you happen to have one near you, you need to try this pizza. So after lunch, we decided to take a walk in Bari's old town. And I showed a little bit of this area when I visited the first time in summer of 2022. But it was so brutally hot and I can enjoy it so much more in the winter. Plus, it isn't as crowded during this season, so we were able to really take our time and appreciate all the beautiful streets and buildings made of stone. And the main reason we came here was for the souvenir shops. I'm now trying to collect magnets from all the places I travel to, and they had so many precious magnets to choose from, like these local pasta ones. I ended up buying three because they're only a euro each, and I'm planning to give one to my sister too. And we also passed the Basilica San Nicola, and it was lit perfectly this time of day. It was so stunning. Also, these cow statues in the front caught my eye, and my boyfriend said that they used to have gold horns, but they were stolen. R.I.P. I've already been in here a few times, and the interior is just gorgeous, and I especially love looking at the artwork on the ceilings of Italian churches. So this is one of my favorite lookout points here in Bari. The view is just unreal. And I feel like my camera wasn't picking up just how vivid the colors are in real life. Especially on a clear sunny day like this, the sea is the most stunning shade of blue. There is no color grading on this footage, it's just that beautiful. Also, there's this cafe right on the edge of the wall that's so cute. My boyfriend's mom took me here the other day and it was so relaxing to look at the flowers and out to the sea. Sorry, I don't know what came over him, but anyway. We've made our way out of the old town and are back in the beautiful city center. We needed a little caffeine pick-me-up, so my boyfriend said he knew a cute cafe nearby where we could get some coffee and dessert. Italian cafes will never disappoint. The pure euphoria I get from just looking at mini pastries like this, like this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy to be alive. We love trying out a variety, so we ordered four different mini cakes to share, then went to the bar to pick up our coffee. Thank you. 
So after I insulted every Italian in that cafe with my afternoon cappuccino, I went to a good old fashioned American coffee shop. Not to get more coffee though, my mom collects these location mugs and requested an Italy one. And I saw they actually came out with body mugs, but I still preferred the design of the Italy one. And I got the baby size just in case I didn't have enough space in my luggage. Happy Monday. I'm currently coming to you guys from my hotel room here in Turkey. This is actually where I'm having my layover, um, a really long layover in fact. I'm not leaving for California until early tomorrow morning so I have to spend the night here and I'm kind of bummed because I've always wanted to go to Istanbul. I just don't have enough time here. I'm staying close to the airport and the airport's actually about like an hour long car drive away from the city center and your girl has to be up at 5 a.m. tomorrow so next time <laughs> but anyway i left italy really early this morning and officially had to say goodbye to my boyfriend and that was really sad <laughs> it literally never gets easier saying goodbye if you guys are in long-term relationships yourself you would know so i'm just trying to distract myself i'm getting ready to go to dinner and i thought i was gonna be like super lonely and sad in the hotel by myself but i've honestly been so sleep deprived that i just kind of feel numb at this point i don't really feel anything <laughs> so weirdly enough it's actually been kind of playing into my favor <laughs> and also sorry i know i didn't film yesterday but it was my last day in italy we we went over to my boyfriend's parents house for lunch we visited them pretty much every sunday without fail and his mom would make us like the most incredible feast and i got to say goodbye to them i did a lot of packing and i actually went back into the city center because my mom really wanted the full size starbucks italy cup some people collect magnets and some people collect starbucks cups i guess <laughs> so i dragged my booty all the way down to the only starbucks in town buy this freaking mug which was $20 by the way for a mug send her a snapchat of the mug and she responds <laughs> which roughly translates to mm, it's actually not that cute <sighs> mother the things i do for her whatever i'm gonna keep it <laughs> But anyway, I know that I also haven't really got into my experience in Italy and why I left. And I think I'll talk about that in the next video when I have a little more time. It is getting late and I do need to go to dinner because I need to get in early tonight. <sighs> time to change out of my PJs and back into some real clothes and let's go get a Turkish dinner. 